What if, dare I say it, gold dropped below $1,000? Nothing? Okay. What if gold fell below $1,000 an ounce? Matter of fact, to be more specific, what if gold fell below around $800? What would happen? What would I do? Boy, what the hell you smoking, man? Gold would never go that low. Really? You had the whole time to interrupt me, and as soon as I'm done with the intro, that's when you want to interrupt me? I wanted to see where you was going to take this. Let's start now. Greetings, members, one and all, to the Urban Nation. Um, no, 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 that Hello, stacking community. It's the Urban Nerd here. <clears throat> Hope your urban day is A-OK. -okay. <clears throat> Hello, YouTube. Urban Dragons here. No, 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 no. Okay. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. Thank you guys so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. My name is Eli. This is a community over 8,000 strong. If you guys want to help support that community, you guys can help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up. Follow me on my social media platform, Urban Lifestyle 1989. And don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. Question of the day. What would you guys do if gold fell below $1,000? Comment down below. Let me and the community know. Now, I do want to say this kind of content is not for people to get on my case and start leaving a whole bunch of comments like... Oh, my friend, you are an idiot. Gold will never go that low. No, no. And? I reckon you don't know what you're talking about there, boy. Gold is going to soar to the sky and I'm going to get on my horse on my old town road and I'm going to ride till I can't no more. And this. Gold is not important. Life and spirit is more important than gold. See, now, this video is to expand your mind because when you're doing something, you want to make sure you know everything there is. You want to know all the risks. You want to make sure you're prepared for anything that can possibly happen. In this case, is buying gold. So as a content creator, I believe it's my job to actually think of random scenarios that could possibly happen and put it out there and see what other people thinks about it. So please, please don't crucify me. I'm not saying that gold is going to drop below $1,000 or hit $800, but I'm saying, hey, it's possible. I mean, let's look at platinum. At one point, it was valued way much more than gold, but right now, platinum is in the 800 range. But all that being said, let's get right into it. So what are the three things that I believe would happen if gold dropped below $1,000 or even hit $800. I believe the first thing, let's get this out of the way first. We're going to receive a lot of negative comments. When I say we, I mean all the YouTube creators that talk good about gold. They're going to make us out to look like idiots. They're going to leave a whole bunch of comments. Oh, I told you, you shouldn't buy gold and you shouldn't buy silver. Oh man, look at the pound that it took. You lost all your money. Blah, 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 and so forth and so on. I mean, come on. Which would be the opposite if gold and silver were to skyrocket? I mean, we'll look like geniuses. But not just us as content creator, everybody who's on the news, who's on the media platform, who talks about, who blogs about gold, all of those people will get a whole bunch of negative comments. Now, the second thing I believe that's going to happen if gold were to drop below $1,000 is a lot of people is going to sell their gold. A lot of people is just going to take it off and say, hey, you know what? Gold sucks. I'm not buying this no more. I'm going to just sell it all and recoup some of my money back. But one thing is for sure, there's going to be tons and tons and tons of people who's going to actually get their gold and actually take the loss of five, six, seven hundred dollar loss. Because remember, you don't lose nothing unless you sell. Uh, what's the price of gold? $800. Where you going? I'm gonna sell all my gold. But at the same time, I do believe number three, a lot of people are gonna buy as well. I mean, really, anything below $1,000 as far as gold, especially one ounce of gold, it's pretty much a sell, it's pretty much a bargain. So a lot more people who actually know, and there's tons of people right now who's just waiting for gold to just fall. Dump, 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 dump. dump what you dump, doing? Dump, dump, uh, uh, uh. I'm just waiting for gold to fall. So yeah, there's people staying away from gold right now because they do believe that it's going to fall down and they're trying to take advantage. Now, is that a bad thing to do? No, it's not. It's what they believe in. Everything that you do is based off what you believe in. If you guys don't believe in gold, if you guys don't believe in silver, then you guys should not buy. And if that is you, then you guys should really not be watching my videos because I believe in gold and I believe in silver. So right there, our thoughts are contradicting one another. And I believe that's one of the main reasons I receive a whole bunch of negative comments on here. So let's recap. Number one, there'll be a whole bunch of negative comments, not just towards YouTube, just as far as precious metals in general. Gold is what's leading the pack. If gold takes a huge fall down, so the negativity won't just affect gold, it'll affect all precious metals across the board. And that'll lead to people who are buying gold, who's expecting to make money off buying gold, and that'll lead them to selling. But at the same time, there's a lot of people who's waiting, and there's a lot of people who do have gold that would just buy more gold. But 
That's the three things I believe that's gonna happen. What am I gonna do personally? To be honest with you, I'm just gonna buy gold. I'm gonna buy more gold. But the real question is, why would I buy more gold if gold falls below $1,000 or precisely $800? The first reason why is because I said it before, it's on sale. Imagine your favorite shoe comes out and it's like $120, but you just don't have the money to buy it right now. And you're like, oh man, I wish I can get that shoe. I wish I can get that shoe. I really love that shoe, but I really can't get it. But then two, three, four, five, six, maybe even a year down the line, that shoe is no longer 120. It falls down to at least $90, $80. Now you can afford it. You're like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. But let's say this, let's say a shoe that you really don't care about, you really don't want to purchase it because you think it's ugly or something. And that shoe is being sold for $135, you wouldn't buy it, then you wouldn't even buy it if it goes on sale for $80 because you really don't care about it. So for me, I do care about gold, I do see the value that gold has, so I would buy if the value drops down under $1,000 versus a lot of people who really don't care about gold, it could fall down to $10 right now and they still won't care about it. Now the second reason why I would buy more gold is because I'm not really affected by the price. Let's say the price do drop down to $800 for gold, an ounce of gold of course. Now let's say the price do fall down, I wouldn't be affected by it, why? Because I have more cash than I do in precious metals. I have other investments. I don't put everything I have into gold and silver. So I can own, I'm not saying I own it, but I can own about 10 ounces of gold and then it falls down, let's say to $800 an ounce, and I really wouldn't lose any sleep over it. Now, Eli, that sounds like you're really bragging about how much money you have. That don't sound like a reason that you'll buy more anyways. No, now the reason I stated that factor is I would not go all in with gold. I would buy more, but I wouldn't go all in. And the fact that I'm not really affected by the prices dropping means that my emotions won't be tied up in the decision to buy or not buy gold at that time or not. And the third reason I would buy more is because I simply know my purpose for buying. I know the value that gold has. I know I'm not buying gold to make money. I'm buying gold for a hedge against inflation. Now some people may be like, oh no, it's not a hedge against inflation. It doesn't matter, we go back to the belief system again. You don't believe it, but I do. So let's not let our beliefs contradict each other. But those are my opinion on what I believe what would happen if gold fell below $1,000 and what I would do in that kind of situation. I wanna know what you guys would do. Comment down below, let me know. But guys, thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, and have a wonderful day.